All right, so this video is just a bunch of different things that all have to do with Lego. I know it's been a while since so posted with summer vacation going on, uh, but I do have school soon, so just time is more restricted. So a couple cool things. I don't know if you guys signed up for it, but the uh, Lego Fall 2021 catalog came out. It's pretty cool, although I think they came out with a couple errors in it as well. Like, uh, for, like, the dots, if you, well, there's, like, wrong images, but stuff like that. Um, but, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but for LegoCon, they came out with a custom comic book creator. And the first, I think, 1,000 or 10,000 people to do it got theirs in roll print. So, I did it before the requirement was met, was the limit was hit, so I got my own custom comic book so it's like a star wars and then my custom mini fig design and then you answer like a couple like personality questions although there's only so many answers so you get this pre-scripted comic book which is i mean it's kind of cheesy but it, it's cool the lego does that um but then on the other hand i have this no pro problem at all right uh so i recently got this 3d printer which is awesome, right? But it means space is severely reduced. So a couple of things that just look odd. I mean, you've got my Looney Tunes, you've got my ATST, you've got the fire destroyer thing. You have these sets stuck in the back here. You have my fireplace right here. You have my crane right here, just sitting. And so space is limited. And the only place I know where to put anything is underneath the bed storage. We've got a uh, bit of space I could use in here. So we'll, we'll have to maximize the use of that. But then other than that, I think I will have to sell my Lego. Some Legos will probably be this crane. Um, I still need to get rid of that Bionicle. Bricks and minifigs said they give me eight bucks for the bag. I was like, nah, that's not enough. But then I'm not gonna get around to selling it any other way at eight bucks is eight bucks. So we'll make a hopefully a sale with that. And then we need to, yep, yeah, work on some stuff with that. So I'll show right, you. So I did find a place to do it. Unfortunately, it wasn't an exact fit. So we had to make quite a few modifications. So first up, put it on a real plate, on some plates. Uh, then you know how there's is like there's a side here, here, and here. Well, I removed that, put in a four by five window pane there. Had to move a couple things, and then I put it on the reverse side, so it's all covered now, which is actually better, I think. And then I so this used to be like right here, uh, that I reverse turned it on the point right here, ninety degrees, so that it was in fact right here. Had to put it on its own platform rather than this. 16 by 16 platform so there's some lack of integrity because it had to be a custom pl platform built for this entire thing so you just had to overlay some plates on top and hopefully it should work the uh i learned a little bit more about how this was built which is kind of cool so that was not a complete waste of time uh most of the pieces still the same um and then the way that i built it you have the side part right here and there's no sidewalk, so it'll just dead end right here. You go around this, I guess, and then you'll continue on. I think the school's going to be there, so there'll be a fence, which is why I got a lot of pieces for. I'm sorry, I have so much light in my mouth while I'm talking. Uh, and then this will need to be fenced off. I guess it could be part of a larger fire station. So, that'll be a neat addition. So, leftover pieces. Uh, include some of those. The This is the water part. I don't just say much about, like, why there's that water segment. But I literally just took off and connected with a couple pins. So, we have six studs here. So, we could take that off. Put up a staircase or something in between. I don't know. Uh, but it'll just be more space to have it. It'll cover it nicely. So, work on that a little bit. Uh, but then that will... Ooh, well, actually, then that means you have to have walls, panels for all of that. And you have to have a roof here. So, that's a longer project that I have to, for time for today. Uh, but also, because of the way that I did this, it, it extends two studs over. 
Wait, maybe, yeah. So, we'll see how that works, but then we'll see how it looks. And there it is in the town, and I think it's perfect if you never had to move it. So, if I ever have to move it again, it's probably going to break on me. So, yeah, because while this segment of it, as you can see, is attached to this, the, the other part is not really whatsoever. So, there's that. And then, yeah, you can see it extends two sides over there, uh, even though there's still no sidewalk. Uh, there is a sidewalk here, but... So, I think it looks fine. I mean, the crane's in the way. Not for too long. Uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. There's uh, still this space in between right here that could be covered up sometime in the near future. Uh, and eventually we'll find homes for these three parts. I really want to get that burger spot incorporated. It's really small and the plate it's on is really large. Unnecessary, but we'll figure it out.